Hey all, Russ here over here at TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're leaving Orange Grove RV Park. What a great little stay for the night. Nice and quiet. All the orange trees, they got blossoms on them. You know, when you stay here, at the right time when it's picking season you can pick all the oranges you want eat all you want they don't care they even got uh, poles you can that'll reach up into the tree grab the orange pretty cool a lot of fun have come back here again all right we're gonna have us a nice little journey this morning we're gonna head to the coast we're going to see the ocean later today. Also on the way, there's a valley along Highway 58. Uh, that It's even on Google Maps. It says Wildflower Viewpoint. So we're going to check that too. But first, we got to cut through Bakersfield. No stopping there. Once I get on the far side of Bakersfield, I need to stop, get a few supplies, and we're going to keep on trucking. Here we go. When you look at it on the maps, it says about three hours, 140-some miles. But it gets a little slow, that Highway 58, I drove that so many years ago, I barely remember it. But it's kind of a windy road. You cut over the mountains that drop you down on the side of the coast. We'll probably see fog too. It, it's warm inland. And when you get the heat like this, normally the coast will be foggy, but who cares? Still be the ocean, huh? <laughs> Be sure to check out my website, rvertv.tv. Sign up for the free newsletter. We got free screensaver downloads, all the new merch, courses, guides, even a recipe book. Bakersfield, who is the old country singer? Buck Owens, he made this town famous too, huh? It's a farm community, but it's a huge city. Right up here will be Highway 99. We're going to get on it for like one mile. Here's our intersection here. Highway 99 goes from the Grapevine all the way up to Sacramento. And even farther. Drove this. I lived in California for a lot of years. Back from the 70s to the early 2000s. Drove a lot of these roads often during the years, but it's all changed. It's okay to visit, good to leave too. But the coast, we gotta see the ocean, yay. <laughs> Love it. Okay, here we go, we're gonna merge on Highway 99. It will reconnect with 58 once we get over to I-5. I believe the road up here is called Rosendale Highway. Be a lot of stoplights cut over. Really? Not much traffic. Of course, it's early. Got an early start today. Here's our exit, Rosendale Highway. Mm. 
up here a few miles is a Walmart. I'm going to make a quick pit stop, pick up some extra water. Because over along the coast, there isn't too much. There's a lot of small stores. We'll actually cut through San Luis Obispo, which is a big town, but I don't want to do anything there. We're heading to the ocean. Yay. Out this way is all their big stores, Home Depots, Walmart shopping, all that. Alright, I'll make my pit stop up here and then we'll just keep right on trucking west. Aren't them trees cool? They grow everything in these valleys here. Just endless. Okay, all stocked up. Cut out here to Highway 58. One thing you can get around here is fresh fruit, vegetables, pretty much year round. They grow it here. Okay, this cuts us over to I-5. Which we're just going to go straight across that. Keep on 58. 58's a California highway. It's not a U.S. highway. Just massive fields. There's a lot of packers out here that store the vegetables and fruits. Trucks everywhere. Okay, up here we should make a right, kind of zigzag. I think we end up a little town right on uh, I-5. It's called Button Willow, something like that. Okay, make a right up here. Years ago, when I worked construction, we used to travel all over California. Didn't matter, anywhere from San Diego, clear up north. Never went much farther than uh, like 50, 80 miles north of Sacramento, but it was always south. Pretty much still looks the same, except for another 4 million people. <laughs> okay, make a left here. And we got a few miles and we'll just cross right over I-5. Look at the big orchards. They are just everywhere. Okay, here's the interstate. Thank goodness we're not on that. Quite a bit of fuel here. I'm going to grab top off the tanks for I head to the coast. Surprisingly, diesel, I was expecting to be paying a whole bunch more being over here, but it's the diesel isn't as bad as the gasoline. Gasoline is more here than diesel. It's unreal. So not too bad. It's still worth it. We're going to the ocean. Yay. <laughs> All right. Get fueled up here and we'll get on the way. Palm trees everywhere, huh? It gets hot here, you know, Bakersfield. This is hardcore desert valley. Gets in the hundreds here. 
just like Sacramento, the entire valley, San Joaquin Valley, clear up Sacramento Valley. Okay, here's where we're picking up again on Highway 58. We'll cut through a couple little towns and then we're going to cross over a mountain pass and then drop down into hopefully where all them wildflowers are going to be. So we'll climb out of this valley here. Can't really see the mountains yet. Kind of way up above, way up ahead there. Here's the town of Buttonwillow. Little community, small town, USA. Even in California, they got small towns. Last September, I had to go down to uh, LA to that YouTube convention, and oh man, what a zoo that was. But California is so vast. A lot of big open areas yet. Well, they got their little motels, burger places, green grass. They grow it here. A little farm town, huh? Okay, looks like we're already through it. Should be pretty open road once we get past Button Willow here. But it'll be all two lane from here. No more four lane road. ball field off to the right. All right, we say we got some wildflowers to find. Mile after mile and nothing but orchards. Look at all those trees, huh? Okay, here's a little berg called McKittrick. Right on the other side, we're going to cut to the right, actually west, towards the ocean. Still on 58. This is all Highway 58 through here. Here we go, back on 58. We had to drop south a little ways and then west. Make sure you uh, check it on the maps. Good road so far, been great drive. All right, we're getting closer to those mountains we're gonna cut over. No gas, 70 miles. Make sure you got a full tank if you come this way. As far as you can see, nothing. There's the mountains we're going to cross over. 
hopefully we find those wildflowers. But when you're driving along through here, I mean, it's just like big open valley. You know, another thing Bakersfield and all this area has is oil wells. They've been pumping oil here for a long, long time. They're all nestled out through all these hills. See all the roads leading up to them. There's 58, the way we're heading. Range changing a little, see the little trees closer to the ocean. You know, California was inundated with rain earlier this year during the winter. Now we're getting in some switchbacks, climbing pretty, pretty good clip now. Off to the right, really can't see it much, but you can see down to the valley of Bakersfield. I'm hoping we'll find those wildflowers. I read about it and I heard and some friends told me this valley is really blooming. It's the place to come. If you really want to catch wildflowers in California, you know, it's still first part of May. So they're here, they're still going. feel the temperature dropping a little bit too. That's kind of nice. You know, yesterday, staying down at Orange Grove, it was in the 90s. It was hot. Right down in the valley there. Well, we are really winding up through here. There's turn after turn. What a pretty drive. I don't know if I'd want to be pulling the RVs up through here. Definitely a pretty drive. You know, there's other roads around, there's other highways that you can cut over to the coast besides 58. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh, i seen a few off to the left. Oh, man. I think we're in for a treat. I'm starting to see color on the left. We got to get to the other side. Right there, look at that. There's some yellow. Yay. We're going to be in it. <laughs> Long climb up this pass. There's more. Made it. We're at the top. Okay, this section here coming up. Supposed to be it. 
What's this sign say? San Luis Obispo County Line. Okay, we're dropping down. Let's see what we find. Cool. Oh, there's some. Oh, yeah, look ahead. I'll find a place to stop. They're here. This is a California wildflower bloom area. I want to get down a little farther, find a bigger pull off. These are kind of skinny for the van. Get some aerial footage of this too. Both sides. Oh wow, look, that guy's got him a high powered camera. He's getting him some pictures. Cool. Alright, we'll stop right up here. How's that for some color, huh? Even in May. You know, in Arizona, most of them are going away. They're drying up. Wow, they weren't kidding. This whole valley right here. Both sides of the roads. I, you can see a little bit of purple in there, too. This is gorgeous. It's all fenced. You can't really walk out there. Zoom in a little bit with the phone. Absolutely perfect. Blue sky on our way to the ocean. <laughs> Well, how perfect is this, huh? Absolutely perfect. All right. We say to the ocean we go. Time-wise from where we left, uh, what, I-5 and Buttonwillow and all that, 
Probably about 45 minutes to get over here. And we're still a good, uh, I'd say, hour and a half from the ocean. But what a pretty place. Plus, you can't beat this day. My goodness. As soon as we came over top of the hill, the temperature definitely dropped. Look, more people. They're getting their pictures. You could definitely come out here, spend a day. I don't, I, probably private property, can't walk out to them. I'm not sure. They definitely get the right temperature and moisture. I think we're getting out of them up here. Oh wow, here's some folks. They got the cameras out. Pretty cool. And it looks like dropping out to a big open valley. It's going to be a few miles. We got to cut across this valley. What's this sign say? Seven Mile Road. I'm sure there's nothing but farms out here. Alright, well, what I'll do is we'll keep trucking. If I see something good, we'll kick the cameras on. But we're definitely heading to the ocean. Yay. Still finding patches of them down here in the lower valley. Look at that hillside just covered with them. Pretty good road, kind of fast pace, hard to film. Definitely a pretty drive. This Highway 58. Have to remember this one if I can't want to come back this way. Definitely worth taking. Here's a huge field of them. There's all kinds of people pulled off here. We say, let's stop, check her out. Look at all the folks. Really kind of a cool area here. I needed a break anyway. There's all kinds of people here taking pictures. Not sure what that is. Some kind of ranch. And there's some of the purple guys. Nice little breeze. It's almost getting windy. Let's scope it out. You know, when you think of California, you don't think of places like this. Big open areas, beautiful. That's over there towards that 
ranch. Not sure what that is. Probably cattle ranch something maybe. Huh? Big open fields full of color. And that's the way we're heading. Highway 58. What do you say? Time for a little salty air. Probably going to be foggy though. When we get over there, that's okay. Any day's a good day on the ocean. Made it across. We're going to pick up uh, Highway 101 up here. Then we're going to go through a little town called Santa Margarita. It's right up here along 101. A lot of people live here now. This whole area. Okay, stay on 58. Once we get on 101, we just drop a few miles south to San Luis Obispo, then we head straight for the ocean. Old style town. A lot of these towns they date back into the 1800s. These areas have been mining. Ocean, all kinds of stuff. There's gold in them hills, too. Old antique mall there on the right. I'm sure it's expensive to live here, though, anywhere along this area. Okay, 101 should be right up the road. Alright, here it is, 101. I believe this is the end of Highway 58, if I'm not mistaken. Good road, clear from Barstow, all the way over here. One oh one drops south, just got a few miles up here, San Luis Obispo. We're going to cut straight off and then we're going to pick up on Highway 1. Take us over to the ocean. And there's your big open valley just across the mountains to the right. Pacific Ocean. So far no fog yet, but I'll guarantee you when it's uh, this warm inland. That fog will be right on the coast. Alright, get through this traffic here and uh, we'll pick up Highway 1. Alright, here's our exit, Morro Bay, that's where we're heading. Actually going to spend a couple days out here. We're going to explore around.
And Luis Obispo is a big time town. It's a huge college town. They got all kinds of campuses and colleges and students. They got a real nice Elks Lodge. I stayed here a few years back at the Elks. They got a huge Elks with all kinds of RV sites, swimming pools. But once again, this is a pretty good sized town. Well, this is Highway 1. We're going to go through quite a few traffic lights. I won't film all that, but once we get out closer to uh, Morro Bay, we're going to be seeing the Pacific Ocean. All right, there's part of the coastal mountain. We're close. I gotta find my exit up here, but this is Morro Bay. You're welcome to it. Look at the fog bank. We're gonna see a little bit of it. All right, Let's see the ocean. Well, I had to make a couple twists and turns. <laughs> Guess what? Found it. Welcome to Morro Bay. We'll get up closer. Had to stop here. Quite a few sand dunes. Fog isn't too bad. Wow. Look at the purple. There's the big rock. Morro Morro Bay Rock. Been there forever. Used to come down here, oh, years and years ago. Okay. Look at that fog bank. I knew it. It'll roll in and out. Blue sky is directly above you. At least we can still see most of the rock there. These are the prettiest purple color. The green against the brown sand and everything. Isn't that gorgeous? What do you say? Head down to the beach. Hear a few waves crashing. These are actually RV parks off to the left. I tried to get a space in there and couldn't. It was all sold out. But I did, a few miles up the road, find a uh, RV park. It's actually a mobile home park with RV sites. We're going to spend uh, a couple days here. I thought made them are go up the coast. A few miles, not too far. Film our way back down, see what we can find. Might as well enjoy the ocean while we're here. Kind of a nice break. Been a few years since I've been over here. See that RV park? I think it's called Morro Bay Dunes, something like that. You cannot camp overnight here, though. They'll kick you out. There's the ocean. All right. Let me get parked. We'll take a walk. truck down here to the shore. Get out of this heavy sand right down there in the beach. It looks like easier walking. Looks like a creek flowing into the ocean here. Right, kids and stuff stacking up the old driftwood. 
lot of people make artwork out of driftwood. Look at all these guys. They're taking a bath in this fresh water. Getting that salt off of them. Talk about the perfect uh, bird bath. They're enjoying that, huh? <laughs> That's cool. Just feel that salty air and that fog rolling in over us. Even the rock is starting to cover over a little bit. Looks like the top of it's missing. Welcome to the Pacific Ocean. Got a few surfers out there. That's got to be cold. Uh, this guy lost his board. He has to come all the way in to get it. Well, pretty cool. I'm gonna work my way back to the van. We're gonna go find that uh, RV park. Been a long journey so far. It's early afternoon, but wasn't that super blue? More seeing, my goodness. That Highway 58 is a little slower road, but not too bad. There you can see the RV parks. Bet they're packed all the time. Of course, I try to get in uh, at the last minute. There's Morrow Bay.
Gonna jump back on Highway 1 North. About seven miles, gonna go up to Cayucas. There's a RV mobile home park called Bella Vista. Then tomorrow we're going to head farther up one here, probably about 25, 30 miles up past San Simeon. Then we'll film our way back down the beaches. Okay, this is Cuyocas Drive. Need to make a left up here. We'll be exploring around here tomorrow too. There's a pier here to walk out on. One thing about the ocean, there is just cool places everywhere. All right, here it is up. up to the right here it's called Bella Vista RV park a lot of mobile homes in here they got small spaces so it's I don't think it's uh, too big rig friendly but what a view you have from here of the Pacific Ocean all right let me go see what site they gave me up near the top but look at all the little park models isn't that something then they got empty RV sites there's a fifth wheel in there full trailers yeah I don't think you could bring like a big bus in here a big motor home I don't think the sites are long enough for it The nice lady here in the office uh, told me there's still spring flowers all along the coast too. So we're not done chasing the spring bloom yet either. All right, here we are. Hey, be sure to check out my website, rvtv.tv. Sign up for the free newsletter. Comes out around the fifth of every month. Keeps you updated on all the new travels coming up in the 2023 season. Okay, get backed in here. Yeah, look at these trailers. They've been here a long time, huh? Probably expensive, too. All right, this is home for the night. Journey continues. Talk soon.